Hello and welcome back to Sermon Recap. This week we talked about how to choose good or wise leaders or what qualities would we want to look for in a good and wise leader. And this, of course, comes to mind because of the fact that there's a presidential election, but this is not about who to choose. This is about what does the Lord say in his word that might guide us in making our own decisions. So it's clear that that's not something that we want to tell you how to do, but just something that you and your own conscience can do based on what you know. So we tried to carefully on this subject because it's not trying to be political in any way. Um, but it's important to state that throughout the Lord's word, he does talk about the importance of leaders, that there need to be leaders that are wise and God-fearing, who are learned in the law, so that they can keep order in society and help people to be provided with the kinds of things they need in order to function well in the world. And so a lot of those things that are required is that, that what is divine might be in the world, that people will have religious freedom, that they'll have opportunities to work, that they'll have the resources they need and opportunities to be of service and that kind of stuff. But also when it comes down to the kind of qualities in a leader, um, that idea of wise and god fearing meaning that they put themselves below the law and not above the law, that they know that they are there to serve and that they're not more important than the greater good of society. So really the, the real principle is that, that a leader should have a servant's heart, that they show up with the idea that they're there to serve people and not to be served. Just as Jesus said of himself, the Son of Man came to serve, not to be served. And so those are the, the main things that we think about. Um, one of the other qualities that was interesting is just that, the, that a, a wise leader, if they see that there's someone else who would be better suited for the job, they're willing to step down so that that person can serve instead. Again, that bears in mind that it's about the use, not the person. And also the honor that we pay to the person in the office is not to the person, but it's to the use that they can serve because they're in that office. So we, we honor them, we give them accolades and that kind of stuff, not because of who they are, but because of the use they can serve in the office that they hold. So the, the honor is in the office, not in the person. Well, those are some of the ideas. If you want to hear it all, you can listen to the full sermon and the full service right here on our YouTube page. Good luck this year. Uh, may we all learn to love each other in spite of our differences and work together for the greater good of our society. Thanks.